Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail uh, how to calculate the variance uh, of the sampling distribution uh, for the difference between two sample means. Okay. Uh, but I suppose let us first of all define two random variables. Let's define the first random variable x and the second random variable y. Okay. Uh, uh, so let's, let's say let x1 x2 true to xn uh, let these be n randomly selected okay, independent let them be n randomly selected independent variables of our observations let's say observations okay okay uh, from a population from a population okay from a population with with mean mu of x and variance let's say the variance is sigma squared of x okay uh, so these n random observations from this particular population okay we can build the sampling distribution for this particular random variable this random variable x uh, and it has a number of characteristics it has an expected value the expected value of the sampling distribution okay for x is equal to mu of x and the variance of the sampling distribution of x bar uh, is equal to sigma squared of x over n because there's n observations and we've 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 done this particular calculation in a previous video so this is the characteristics of the random variable the random variable x and in a similar way let's define a second random variable that's independent of this random variable and let's call it y so let y1 y2 true to yn be n randomly selected selected independent observations independent oh, independent observations observations right okay so let's say let's say the y1 y2 true to ym are m randomly selected independent observations so the samples so the sample size doesn't necessarily have to be the same as the sample size with respect to the x random variable so let y1 y2 true to ym be m randomly selected independent observations uh, from a population okay, that has a specific mean value so let's say a population with with mean let's say mu of y and variance and variance uh, sigma squared of y and we can also in a similar in a similar vein this the way we've defined the characteristics of the sampling distribution okay of the sample mean okay for x we can define the expected and the variance with respect to the sampling distribution uh, of the sample mean uh, of the variable y so we would have an expected value okay, of the sampling distribution would be equal to mu of y and its variance Okay, of the sampling distribution of y would be equal to sigma squared of y over over m. Okay, so this is our second random variable y, and the two random variables x and y are independent of each other. That's important. Okay, now this video we want to try to calculate what the variance. Okay of this particular sampling distribution of the difference between two two sample means is going to is going to look like okay so we'd like to be able to understand understand okay uh, the characteristics characteristics okay, okay uh, of the sampling distribution of the sampling distribution sampling distribution okay, okay associated associated with with let's say x bar minus y bar okay so we want to we want to know what the the variance uh, of the sampling distribution of x bar minus y bar actually looks like okay so what we'd like to be able to calculate is we'd like to be able to calculate the variance okay of x bar minus y bar okay now let's just recall okay so we recall okay uh, that with respect to variance represented from an expectation perspective that the variance okay of a random variable uh, is equal to the expected value of the square of the random variable okay 
uh, minus the square of its expected value. Okay, so this is a particular identity that we've proven in, in an earlier video. Okay, so with this particular identity, uh, I suppose what we can actually do here is then that the variance of x bar minus y bar okay, must be equal to the expected value of the square of this new random variable. Okay, so it must be x bar minus y bar squared okay, minus the square of the expected value of this new random variable. Okay, so this new random variable of x bar minus y bar okay to be squared okay so this is something that we can that we can calculate uh, pretty straightforward it's a few lines of algebraic manipulations but we should be able to get there easy enough okay uh, so just looking at this here okay uh, we will have let's just let's just expand out this particular square so this becomes the variance of x bar minus y bar must be equal to the expected value of x bar minus y bar times x bar minus y bar okay, okay. Uh, and this must be the same as or sorry this is we must minus okay this is a square here okay uh, which is the expected value of x bar minus y bar times the expected value of x bar minus y bar Okay, uh, let's just multiply out our brackets here. Okay, so this becomes uh, equal to, I'll just move over here to give me myself a bit of space. This is equal to, working off this, the expected value of, well, x bar times x bar gives me x bar squared. x bar times minus y bar gives me minus x bar y bar. We have a minus y bar times an x bar gives me another minus x bar y bar. So I have minus 2 x bar y bars and then I have minus times minus gives me a plus y bar times y bar gives me a y bar a y bar squared okay so that's that expectation and we have this expectation over here minus the expected value of x bar minus y bar okay uh, times the expected value of x bar minus y bar okay now let's just also recall okay uh, that we have the expected value of the summation of two independent variables is the same as the summation of their expectations okay so in this situation here and also in over here that this is the expectation of a summation of independent variables which is just the sum of the individual expectations so this actually now becomes equal to the expected value of x bar squared okay minus the expected value of 2 times x bar y bar okay plus the expected value of y bar squared okay minus now this here becomes it's going to be the expected value of x bar minus the expected value of y bar okay that's this comes becomes this summation here times the expected value of x bar minus the expected value of y bar okay let's just multiply out our brackets and let's do some simplifications this is a constant here times a random variable so this is the same as the expected value of x bar squared minus twice the expected value of x bar y bar plus the expected value of y bar squared Okay, minus, and let's just multiply out this particular this particular uh, term here. Okay, uh, so minus this becomes the expected value of x bar squared. Okay, x, expected value of x bar times x bar because it's the expected value of x bar squared. Okay, and uh, then we have the expected value times the minus y minus the y, minus y expected value over here. It uh, gives us a minus expected value of x bar times the expected value of y bar and then we have a minus again here where we have the expected value of y bar times the expected value of x bar that gives us i suppose minus minus two times the expected value of x bar times the expected value of y bar and then we have a minus times a minus gives us a plus and we have this expectation times this expectation gives us the expected value of y bar squared okay uh, 
Now we're going to multiply it through by the minus by the minus sign here, the minus one now in a moment. Okay, but let's just uh, just recall another uh, important uh, I suppose identity with respect to expectations, and let's keep in mind that the variable x and the variable y are independent of each other. So because they're independent, that the 